Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a reaction to another one of Italian Stallion's videos because this guy is just on fire. Um, this video is going to be about FIFA 19. You know what? I actually want to put this on this screen instead because having to bend my neck to watch it on this screen is a little annoying. But this is going to be a video from Italian Stallion again. FIFA 19 custom tactics are not good enough. Right, we're gonna take a look at all the specifics that Italian Stallion mentions. Again, one of the best content creators that exists right now in regards to gameplay content and what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. So I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to say. You guys know the deal. If you guys like this video, be sure to go to Italian Stallion's channel, leaving the link in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal, yo. Welcome to another video. My name is Italian Stallion, and again, thank you so much for recent support. Mm. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, especially on Twitch, for live versions of our videos, basically live discussions. If Do you it up. Want to get in on that, if you ever want live answers to any questions you may have, at Stallion Salm on Twitch. New emotes coming as well, and you know we have a good time. We try to make as much fun as possible out of this game that currently I'm personally not enjoying, but it is what it is. And today I want to talk about custom tactics and how they changed. On your left side of the screen, you're going to see how custom tactics were in FIFA 18 and all years prior, and at least most of the years prior. And then on the right side of the screen, obviously the custom tactics that we all have come to know and maybe not love, but we definitely know them this year. And, um, you know, we'll start with defense, right? And, and basically the whole, the whole topic of this video is I'm going to show you exactly how they changed and how they changed for the worse. There are some good aspects of how custom tactics have changed, but for the most part, they have become, you know, easier to understand, but they gave you less freedom to tinker with. You have, you actually have less options to, to, to set your custom mentalities. And um, there's a lot, a lot lacking, a lot left to be desired. And that's why I'm making a video on this because I need a lot of these things to be uh, addressed for next FIFA uh, because, you know, I miss, I miss being able to do a lot of things that I was last year. So let's start, you know, obviously most of you are going to know, but you know, you start with defense on the right side of the screen. You can see your tactics, defensive style. You choose anything from balance. Your balance speaks for itself. Your team remains in their shape. Uh, you can choose pressure on heavy touch, which they will be balanced for the most part. But then, you know, when your position takes a heavy touch, your CPU, your computer, your AI starts pressuring the team, right? And then pressure after for uh, possession loss, same concept except um, when that happens, your AI will, your whole team will push forward and start doing that uh, when, you're when you lose possession. So it's a bit risky, but it's kind of trying to emulate the old pep style. And then constant pressure, obviously, of course, you know, just pressure the whole time. Your team runs at your opponents the whole time and then drop back, of course, your team is passive. You know, you're going to be more covered defensively, but you're going to give up more possession. And so, uh, you know, last year, as you can see on the screen, you know, if I wanted to do constant pressure, you know, maybe the equivalent would be to do this. But even then, I think it's not comparable in terms of defensive style from last year to this year, because any year of FIFA, no matter if you put 100 pressure, 100 aggression, like 100 team with whatever you want, it didn't matter. The, t the CPU wouldn't press as much as they do now. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the mentalities are an interesting idea, but overall, uh, I think uh, it's not they're not they're not a good thing because every single mentality that inc includes the word pressure is too overpowered because even a pressure on heavy touch, you know, they don't press all the time. But as soon as your as your opponent takes a bad touch, the CPU of your team will run towards your position. Same thing when press after possession loss. You lose the ball, your whole team starts pressing without you doing anything. Constant pressure, you do nothing. Your whole team will mark every player on your position's team. I think that's way too overpowered. I understand why it was done. I understand it was done because in FIFA 18, a big problem was time wasting a lot of stuff, but there's yep. other things you can do to negate time wasting, like making passing more manual, right? Like rewarding manual defending, right? Uh, things like that. I the, the what they did this year with the whole defensive mentalities is they tried to fix a problem of time wasting in FIFA 18 by you know making the computer solve it for you, right? So basically, the solution is done by the CPU. We're moving closer to Football Manager, where you you, you put your tactics, your instructions, and you look at your team play because essentially that's what most defensive mentalities are. You choose one. And they do all the work for you. And there's no skill in pressing anymore. Big problem in my book. For width and depth, you know, last year you could uh, you, you could do team width low and high. Uh, it's a bit 
uh, it's less customizable now because you have to go bar by bar instead of you going from one digit to, a ne- to the next. Like you could go from 70 to 71, which you could argue makes no difference. But I feel like more customization is always better, even if it might not be as uh, as um, easier to understand for a casual as opposed to the bars. But, you know, that's personal preference. Either way, those things could be done last year and this year equally pretty much. Offensive style uh, is a little is a little different. This is where things really start getting uh, complicated in the sense that there's a lot left to be desired in this year's tactics. Obviously, with styles, we've got balanced, neutral offensive style. There's nothing really special about it. I guess the equivalent of leaving everything last year to 50-50-50. Uh, and then long ball, uh, fast buildup, you know, possession, and that's it. First of all, not that many styles, in my opinion. Second of all, the problem with this is is that um, I think I think they force on you presets. I don't know how this works, right? I'm assuming this is how it works, that if you choose possession, for example, if you go and choose possession in this year's tactics, I think how this works is like this. They force you. This is the possession on the left side of the screen. This is just uh, uh, the possession preset that you would have in FIFA 18 and FIFA 17 and also all that stuff. So they force you these uh, these uh, these custom tactics, right? which last year would be really kind of difficult to play with because, you know, build-up plays, you can see spat, passing is at 20, which is really low. Uh, speed is also at 20. And then you have passing, crossing, and shooting under chance creation all at 25, so all really low. And then it also sets your defensive uh, preset, but this year, obviously, you can you don't have to abide by that, right? But here's the problem. Last year, what you could do, instead of playing the possession preset, which is, uh, I'm guessing what happens this year, but I don't. It might not be the case. So when you choose offensive style behind the scenes, this is what occurs. What you see on the left side of the screen, if that makes sense. I think that last year, what you actually could do is do a mix, right? You could play possession in chance creation. So this means you put low values here. You you say you go like all thirties, right? Mm-hmm. And the possession presets was pretty much all twenty fives. But mm-hmm. then in your build up, you can increase your speed to seventy increase your passing and so in your own third you could get things moving quickly yeah so you could play counterattack and possession at the same time you can't do that this year right no, you can't the you, you you can't do a fast build up and a counterattack and a possession at the same time you have to choose one or the other there's no gray areas there's no division between build up play and chance creation you He's pretty right. much have to choose a preset uh, for your whole offense that starts from the back to the front and I think that's a very, very bad thing. And another thing to note is you have this thing here, organized or freeform. In your buildup, you can choose your player's shapes, your player runs to be organized or freeform. Same with your chance creation, organized or freeform. There's no organized or freeform for anything this year, right? So even more limited. And I think that, uh, that reduces... Uh, I think there is instructions to allow your cams and stuff to be on freeform. So instead of stick to position, they would have freeform. So in a way, in the way they kind of do have it so that you can move around, because I'm pretty sure the cams have free form this year. Pretty sure the cams do. So you you still de- definitely can do it. It is a possibility. I'm not gonna say it's not. Um, but it's I don't think it's for every player because when you use free form on chance creation in general, it would be most of the players in your team. But it would also be a thing where it's like the tactics of the old FIFAs and the instructions of old FIFAs would kind of like collide with each other. So you can have, I'm pretty sure you can have an instruction back in the day saying, oh, I want free form on this player, but then have organized chance creation and then you don't really know which one he's doing more than the other, right? Uh, so that's definitely an interesting thing too. Is a lot of the a lot of the scale gap as well because some people thrive with free form, some people thrive with organized. You have to give people the choice. Now, if you look at long ball uh, in this year in FIFA 19, and then you compare it to the t- detailed tactic view last year, the preset for long ball. You see that in long ball, you have, uh, you know, really high. This is the preset last year. So, you know, maybe this is what they use behind the scenes this year for long ball. Maybe it isn't, but we're trying to make guesses here, right? And if this is what they do, uh, you know, it's it'd be really interesting for me to see if I could, if I could, tinker with it myself so you know i like how chance creation looks for long ball with 75 75 and 75 yes. but this year if i choose long ball i don't have an option to change positioning from organized to free form right i don't have an option to 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 he's right reduce speed from 90 
to 50 because maybe I want to play long ball and chance creation, but in my build up, I want to go slow. Mm. Or maybe, uh, you know, I want to have a, a, a fast build up, but I want to lower some of the chance creation values. You're not allowed. You just force these mentalities, and that takes away so much uh, because most of these mentalities, uh, in my experience this year, have been completely useless, and you need that gray area to tinker with. Yes. I think the only good thing they did this year with the tactics was the corner and free kicks. It's really nice that you have, uh, you know, the three to one to five bars uh, for corners and free kicks to decide how many people you want to go up for corners and how many people you want to stay back. Great, great addition. But in terms of in terms of everything else, it leaves a lot to be desired. You know, I want to I remember last year, my bread and butter speed, put it at 80 passing, you know, maybe leave it balanced. You could do fast speed. But then low passing, and then it's like a fast buildup slash possession styled uh, buildup. I used to do that People too. Come close, but at a fast speed, as opposed to being forced a possession preset that, as we showed earlier, is twenty five twenty five. So slow speed, slow passing. There's no there's no mix mash. There's no customization. Even then, again, the free form is really huge. And then chance creation. Maybe you know you want to have a possession and fast build up play but then in terms of chance creation you want to make it super risky and you put all the high values true right yeah. so like this is what long ball looks like but now you've mixed uh the long ball preset which was like high values as we saw uh previously with a possession slash fast style tiki taka build up play mm-hmm. you're mixing all these styles and then on top of that you can make it organized or free form yep right and I think this was a really exciting thing. You know, again, I know a lot of people didn't understand how these tactics worked last year, but uh, you could mix. Right? Yeah, they can. They kind of like dumbed it down in this game too. And to be honest with these tactics, like these tactics, I would say is better than these tactics, but some of these things, because for me personally, like the generic stuff to use nowadays is like drop back, maybe drop your width by one, keep the width as it is, the four, two, three, one. And then you choose between like how many players you want in the box and the width you want to play. But the corners and free kicks are usually set to three. And then the instructions are pretty generic too. Uh, usually with tactics, I felt like in previous FIFAs, uh, there was definitely more options, right? Because I never liked anybody's tactics. Uh, the only time I actually liked someone's taxes with, was Gorillas, but then at some point it got a little bit too aggressive for me, and I had to switch it because I tried to use his tactics one time, and it was good at first, but then like afterwards, uh, it was just getting way too aggressive, and it wasn't my play style. It was always nice to play every game and then figure out uh, what balance would work out best for you. I, the thing that's nice about the game this year is that dynamic tactics or the dynamic formations, right? So obviously, I don't think FIFA is going to change the way that they do uh, chemistry in FIFA in regards to leagues, countries, and so on and so forth. So uh, it was smart of them to allow you to start off with a formation and then in-game you switch to whatever you want. I think that's fine because no matter what, people are going to want to do that, right? Uh, but the tactics, it would have been cool if they kept it like in the old way and in that way that would be the best way for you to try it in game because you wouldn't have to pause to individually switch the numbers every single time you would have your defensive your your defensive your ultra defensive your balance your attacking and then your ultra attacking right and that would be five different tactics you would rock with and i think that would have been um a more interesting approach and then basically what would have been nice too so that people didn't have to remember their tactics is that as you were scrolling through the game it would tell you your tactics each time so it'll tell you basically based off of whatever chance creation or build up play you had it would tell you oh you have fast build up you have fast build up but close passing and stuff like that and then you could see like it would you would you would hold your d-pad and then it would tell you what that tactic did specifically and then you would just go from there right um also, one thing that'd be kind of cool with with uh, with FIFA is being able to use different formations. I feel like for some reason they're going to do this next year. That's going to be like their new innovative innovating thing is uh, switching formations. They'll have a defensive formation and then they'll have an attacking formation. Would not surprise me if they did that at all. Uh, Roberto uh, Roberto Roberto Martinez uh, for Belgium. Roberto, I'm pretty sure it's Roberto. Uh, he did the, he did that constantly for Belgium. They played the three five two, then the four four two, then they kept on switching it like in game as they were playing. Right. Pep Pep does the same thing sometimes. Sometimes he'll play four four two, four three three, blah blah blah. Right. He's always switching it uh, depending on the defense or the attack or the situation of the game. So um, I definitely agree 
with styling on this video, it's kind of very like linear, right? The play style is very linear. Most people have, will have very similar tactics in regards to instructions and tactics of their players. Uh, this used to be all over the place with like most of the players in the uh, in the community when it came to like what they liked the most, right? This year you choose it, I've said it three times already, you choose a mentality and you have to stick with it and all you can change is width and how many players in the box. You can't change the speed, yep. you can't change how close or how far people come at you in terms of the passing mm -hmm. right here, and especially in build-up play. Yep. And it leaves a lot, a lot to be desired, and everyone's pretty much forced to play the same style, which, yeah. in my opinion, is going to hurt a lot of specialist types of players. If you're mm -hmm. a player who has a very specific style, not going to be good. And this is what, in my opinion, is the most important downfall of custom tactics. As you can see on the left side of the tactics, you know, in defense, you got pressure, aggression, team width, all good and fine, right? But defender line, cover and offside trap. I know everyone always says in custom tactics from FIFA 18 and before, always choose cover. I don't know why people said that. I disagree. Offside trap was absolutely phenomenal. Offside trap would hold your line flat and high. And they would and they would just hold their line as opposed to what they do now is that they keep dropping back and dropping back and dropping back to the I always use cover. This is obviously an opinion. I never ever ever used offside trap. I hated it back then. The point that it's so easy for your opponents to just pass into the strike or take a touch to any side and shoot because the defense has dropped back so low with cover. Offside trap, they hold a flat line, yes. You're going to be more exposed. Yes, you're going to have to play or switch really well. Yes, they can through ball you. But at least, you know, you make an active choice. You have the choice of choosing one or the other. You have more things to tinker with. True. It's an absolute Very abomination true. to me that there's no offside trap uh, tactic like this beside the one in the D-pad that you can spam manually. Um, and I think I think it needs to make a return. And I'd like to see even more maybe defender line defender line mentalities but again i wouldn't risk it too much because like i said earlier in my opinion the defensive style mentalities are a good idea but they're not good in practice because the whole premise that you put a constant pressure mentality and the whole cpu does the pressing for you i think that's that's a complete uh mistake that should never ever 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 happen it takes away all the skill in manually pressing the ball and i understand it. especially if your players uh depending on the gameplay you're playing and especially if your players take worse touches when pressure is being absorbed from the opposition when the when they're trying to get the ball back you can definitely notice your players taking worse touches when you're not doing anything drastic you're not holding our trigger or r2 you're not holding the dash button so you miss control you're just you can literally let go of your controller and they will do heavy touches right so again that it was done to cater uh, to the complaints about time wasting last year but again there's other ways to make sure time wasting isn't a thing like making passing a lot a lot better like making play you're switching responsive like making gameplay connection better like um like making manual defending more rewarded so that if you do a manual tackle you get the ball instantly all that stuff all that type of stuff but again let me know guys if you agree with what i said let me know if uh, you agree that uh, you know you'd like to yeah the only thing i would say is the offside trap i feel like they took it out because no one ever really used it but does that mean that it should be taken out entirely no because it's a it's a defensive line style offside trap or cover those are defensive line styles offside trap would also mean that like you said the defensive line would be higher because they'd be playing the offside trap so whatever wherever the attackers were they would kind of be around the midfield area maybe just below it and always playing for that offside when when uh, in their general movement my problem with offside trap was when the moment they can they they went forward right uh the moment that they went forward and someone got the onside it, you were ggs at that point so that's the only reason why i kept on using cover but it's like you said it should never have been taken out because it is a style of play right um and i do like what he says i think my favorite part of this video is the fact that he's saying that there's you, you should be able to do like two to three to four well maybe it's like two to three when i wouldn't push it to four but you should do like two to three different attacking styles as you're building up and as you're attacking in the chance creation area right that actually makes a lot of sense because you either choose one or the other but it starts from the beginning and it goes to the end right there's no different one from the beginning and then a different one in the middle and then a different one at the end it's always uh, it's always just one play style entirely, right? So um, I definitely agree with his point in that. I, I understand why EA went with this route because this for a lot of people back then was very confusing. I honestly didn't mind this at all. I just, I didn't mind this. I just wanted to be able to switch it easily. That's That was my problem. I used to tell this to people all the time. I thought switching it 
was was annoying, right? Because if I realized that I needed more passing so that my players made more runs, I couldn't do that. I couldn't switch that on the go. So if they added this dynamic tactic where you can choose between ultra defensive, defensive attacking and ultra attacking and have tactics like this, right? With a few of these things maybe in here as well, that would have been better because then you would be able to switch on the go and you would remember which tactics and what your what your play style. And like I said, if you were able to uh, manually navigate through the D-pad and see the specific tactics and what they're what they're capable of doing, you would notice like, okay, my opponent is playing really deep, so I'm gonna put the passing to like 20 and go for long shots because he's playing deep. So if he going if he's going for long shots and I hit the good shots and good angles, then I'll score them. Right? Stuff like that is is where the football mentality kicks in that's that's where i feel like ea's definitely been lacking with over the years because when you only have here's the thing here's the thing people need to understand in last in in fifa when you're a competitive player i'm not a competitive player but i i know what competitive fifa is like if you're a pro player sometimes you beat your opponent just because your tactics are better I'm telling you because they'll, the the CPU is the one that's going to make the ai uh, make the runs the CPU is the one that's going to defend for you right so and this in this version right here, there's more options. So if you realize, like I said, you need to do longer passing or shorter passing, or you want to take more shots or less shot, and you want to build up the play, this gave you way more options. And you know where you stood, right, when you did those things. If you didn't want to get caught on the counterattack so much, you would basically have your passing set to like really, really low so that your players wouldn't overcommit to the middle and you have stay back while talking blah, blah, blah on, on, on your instructions. So this just made more sense to be able to have more of a broad idea of how you want to play. And, and if you had more options in game telling you which each one did as you set them up before the game started, uh, it would have been better. But I understand this is a little bit more complicated, but... If you guys watch, there, it takes that. There was that one video in the FIFA community where the guy explained custom tactics. He said custom tactics explained. You just needed to watch that video. It was like 18 minutes long, 18 minutes out of your day for you to understand one of the most, probably the most important uh, thing in the game, right? So this just doesn't really do much for anybody anymore, in my opinion. But I definitely understand Italian styling. At first, when I was watching the video, I was like, oh wow, this is probably gonna be the first video that's kind of like. Eh, you know, but then once he started talking about the the build of the chance creation being different with defense being different and blah blah, I definitely agree with him fully. I, I think he he definitely he knows what he's talking about. The fact that I even doubted him for a split second was like was stupid on my part. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys go check out his channel. As you guys know, I've, I review Stallion's videos all the time because this guy just knows what he's talking about, right? So uh, be sure to go check out his his channel, my dudes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys. Maybe later today for some foot champs on stream. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll see what's popping with that. All right. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. You guys have yourself a good day. All right. Bye, guys.